Hi there, this is Algebra Lesson 7 for Mathematics Alive, Division of Polynomials. We have loss of exponents for division, low number 4, a over b raised to the nth power is equal to a to the n over b to the n. Examples, 3 over 4 squared is equal to 9 over 16. That means we raise 3 to the second power and raise 4 to the second power separately. Number 2, we have 2x over y raised to the third power is equal to 8x cubed over y cubed, where we raise 2x to the third power and we raise y to the third power. And number three, 2x squared over 3y quantity raised to the fourth is equal to 16x to the eighth over 81y to the fourth, where uh, we have 2 to the fourth power is equal to 16, and then x squared to the fourth power is equal to x to the eighth, and then 3 to the fourth power is equal to 81, and y to the fourth power. So the answer is 16x to the 8th power over 81, y to the 4th power. Low 5. Low 5 is divided into three parts. So this is part 1. a to the m over a to the n is equal to a to the m minus n, where m is greater than n and a is not equal to 0. That means that if the power of the numerator is greater than the power of the denominator and you have the same basis, A, then you simply subtract the powers M minus N. And that will be the power of the base. Example, 7 to the 4th over 7 squared. That means... 7 to the 4 minus 2, or 7 squared. Number 2, m cubed over m squared. So you subtract 3 minus 2, so you get m to the first power, or simply m. And then number 3, we have 6x to the fifth divided by 2x squared. So we first divide the numerical coefficients, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And then x to the fifth divided by x squared is equal to x cubed. Low 5, part 2. a to the m over a to the n is equal to 1 over a to the n minus m, where n is greater than m. That means that if it happens that the power of the divisor or the denominator n is greater than the power of the numerator m, uh, your answer will be 1 over a to the n minus m. Or uh, you subtract the power of the numerator from the power of the denominator. Examples. 7 cubed over 7 to the 8th power. So that's equal to 1 over 7 to the 8 minus 5 or 1 over 7 cubed. And then number 2, m cubed over m to the 5th is equal to 1 over m to the 5 minus 3 is equal to 1 over m squared. Number 3, 6x squared divided by 2x to the fifth is equal to 3 over x cubed. So you divide 6 divided by 2, that's 3, and then x squared divided by x to the fifth, it goes to the denominator, and then you subtract 5 minus 2. 3 over x cubed is the final answer. Low 5, part 3. When you have the same basis and the same 
powers. So a to the m over a to the m is equal to a to the zero because you subtract the the powers m minus m and that is equal to one. Examples. Number one, seven to the fourth over seven to the fourth is equal to one. Number two, m cubed over m cubed is equal to one. And number three, if there are numerical coefficients, then you first divide the numerical coefficients. Six divided by two is equal to three. And then divide out the, um, the variables. So you have x to the zero or simply three. Number four, three x, three y to the fourth over nine y to the fourth is equal to one over three y to the zero because three over nine is equal to one third. So one third times y to the zero is equal to simply one third. Let's move on to division of a polynomial by a monomial. The polynomial a plus b plus c divided by d is equal to a over d plus b over d plus c over d, which means that the divisor is um, distributed to each term of the dividend. Examples, 4x plus 8 over 4. So we distribute 4 to the dividend. So 4x over 4 is equal to x, and 8y over 4 is equal to 2y. Number 2, 15x cubed y squared is divided by the um, monomial divisor 3x squared y squared. So 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Then x cubed divided by x squared is equal to x. The y squared cancels. Then 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And then x squared here cancels. y cubed divided by y squared is equal to y. Then negative 6x to the 4th, 6 divided by 3 is equal to negative 2. x to the 4th divided by x squared is equal to x squared. And y squared cancel. Now we have long division of polynomials. Okay, this symbol P of x here stands for our dividend. And this symbol D of x stands for our divisor and q of x stands for our quotient. Let us first illustrate dividing polynomials using algebra tiles. And this algebra tiles, um, the p of x or the dividend is represented by the square here or the rectangle here under the t chart okay so we have x squared seven x's and six unit tiles then x plus one is the divisor and it is represented by this um, long tile x plus one and the answer x plus six unit tiles is represented here Okay, uh, which shows that in a division which is exact, the divisor and the answer or the quotient are the dimensions of the rectangle representing the dividend. Now let's go to the long division of polynomials proper. Here are the steps. First, we arrange the terms of the dividend and the divisor in descending order of the powers of some variables common to both. Put zeros in place of missing terms if there are any. Example, 
we have x squared, x, and 6. There are no missing terms, so we do not have to arrange. Then, step number 2. Divide the first term of the dividend, in this case x squared, by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. So x squared divided by x equals x. Then step number three, multiply the whole divisor by the first term of the quotient and subtract the product from the dividend. Okay, this is the whole divisor and this is the first term of the quotient. So multiply x times x is equal to x squared and then x times 1 is equal to x. And then subtract the product from the dividend. This The product is in red, which means that uh, you have to change the sign of the subtrahend. So x squared minus x squared is 0. 7x minus x is equal to 6x. And then bring down 6. This is now our new dividend, 6x plus 6, and we start dividing again. 6x divided by x equals 6, then 6 times x equals 6x. Six, 6 times 1 is equal to 6, and then we subtract this from 6x plus 6 above, and you get a 0, which means that the division is exact. There is no remainder. Example number two. We have x cubed minus 2x plus 3 divided by the quantity x minus 2. We have to rewrite this because there is a missing term or missing power of x. That is um, x squared. So we rewrite the dividend as x cubed plus 0, x squared minus 2x plus 3, divided by x minus 2. So we divide x cubed by x and we get x squared. Then we multiply x squared times x and we get x cubed. Then x squared times negative 2, you have negative 2x squared. Then we subtract that. And the answer is um, negative, uh, positive 2x squared because the, the red, this uh, red portion uh, indicates that there should be a change in sign. So when we bring this down, it becomes positive. And then bring down negative 2x and positive 3. This is our new dividend. Then we continue the division. And we, we divide 2x squared divided by x is equal to 2x. Then 2x times x is equal to negative 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 is equal to negative 4x. Then we, uh, we subtract this, so this is 0. And this becomes positive. So uh, subtracting that, you get 2x plus 3. Uh, 3 was brought down here. And then uh, continue the division. And you have 2x divided by x is equal to 2. And then 2 times x equals 2x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then subtract this again and you have 3, this becomes positive, so you have 3 plus 4 equals 7. And 7 is the remainder and you have to add the non-zero remainder to the quotient and divide it by the divisor. So this is now the quotient part, 7 over x minus 2 and this is our final answer. Now you have to learn by doing, so perform the following divisions on your own. Number one, 
you have a monomial divisor, so this is not long division. You just have to distribute the monomial divisor to each of the term of the numerator. Then numbers two, three, and four, you have to do the long division uh, method. In my next video, I will be discussing the shortcut of long division, that is synthetic division. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.